For me, this is one of the biggest advantages of this trackpad because if it dies, I can charge it and still use it. Well, when this one dies, I can't use it while it's charging. I just gotta wait. Totally different product today. As a lot of you may have known if you followed my videos before, I was never an Apple guy. I had a Mac Mini at one point, but only kept it for a few months and then just sold it. I got it for free when I passed the cert at the company I worked for, but I didn't really have a use for it. But after years of him begging me to learn Apple and uh, so that you know I could make him more money while he continued to pay me the exact same amount, I never learned Apple until, well, I quit working there and needed an M1 Mac to be able to edit videos very smoothly. So from what I've learned, a lot of people with Macs like the Magic Trackpad. And so I wanted to give it a go. Everybody who edits on Final Cut Pro says that uh, this is the way to go. So we're going to go through the unboxing experience, and I'll go through the setup experience with you guys, and um, we'll check out the Magic Trackpad. Click that like button, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. And now let's set up and test out the Apple Magic Trackpad. So today I may be retiring my old Apple mouse in favor of the Magic Trackpad. Let's uh, get into this plastic and have a look at it. Just magic trackpad on the front, nothing on the top or bottom. Apple logos on the sides and then the back, just the color. Magic trackpad requires Bluetooth, rechargeable, blotchy, blotchy. Oh, I've wanted one of these for a very long time. So just simple and so there's the actual trackpad. On off switch, lightning port, Apple logo on the back. And then uh, we have one of the nice braided USB C cables. That's always nice to include. So they only put shiny stuff around the lightning port side, not the USB C side. Interesting. And then the uh, instruction manual, well, warranty, regulatory compliance, then an instruction manual. So now I guess let's go to a screen recording on the computer, show you how easy this thing is. All I believe I will have to do is flip this switch. Let's take our lightning cable and plug directly into the device. And now Magic Trackpad is wirelessly connected to this Mac. And there we go, look at that's it. Like, and there we go, look at that's it. For me, this is one of the biggest advantages of this trackpad because if it dies, I can charge it and still use it. Well, when this one dies, I can't use it while it's charging. I just gotta wait. So after using this thing all day yesterday, I can truly say I love my Apple Magic trackpad. Now, one thing I thought would be different was I thought it was gonna be like a laptop. Everyone had talked about gestures and all this kind of stuff, so I thought stuff would be like double tap, but uh, this is essentially exactly like a regular mouse, but without the movement. You use your finger to position the mouse where you want it, and then like if you wanna right click, hold your control button, and you click the keyboard, and then it does a right click. I do like the click. The click is a satisfying click, but it's not super loud like the uh, Magic Mouse. Truly highlighting stuff exactly the same. Just click and hold, drag your mouse, you know, that's that's all the same. And that was something that I could not find on YouTube in terms of answers, because I thought this thing was gonna be 100% gestures because people compared it to like having a way to control your Mac like an iPhone, which I would not be used to. And it's not 100% gestures. You can go into settings and add a lot of those and enable certain ones, but I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm using it just as a normal mouse and um, truly like the intuitiveness of it. I love that it can't die on me because I can charge it while I'm using it. All of those very great features. I completely give the Apple trackpad two thumbs up. And to be honest, I can use this with my MacBook. I'm planning to buy a MacBook uh, early to mid next year whenever they hopefully come out with a new MacBook Air. And uh, this should be able to sync to it and then I can do my Final Cut editing with this on the MacBook. 
and uh, just switch between the two. It'll be it'll be nice. So of course I'll leave a link down below to grab you an Apple Magic Trackpad if you want one for your Mac. These do work on the Intel Macs as well as the M1 Macs like I have. And truthfully I think that will do it for today's video. If you can, click that like button for me, click subscribe, and indulge in your life and indulge clothing for the merch, and I'll see you all in the next one. Deuces.